Spiritual greatness doesn't happen in a day. It happens daily. It happens daily. So Naaman says, that's it. I'll obey. The scripture says that he walks his way over to the Jordan and he makes a decision that day that was, for him, probably a big one. He, he decides to step into the muddy river water of the Jordan River. How many know stepping in is, well, it's the first step of the process. I know there's people here today and every week it happens here at VU that this is like your first time ever in a church. Like, this is different. This is okay, I'm here. Like, what? Has, has everything changed? Is, is it all different? No, it's just part of the process. I don't have magic for you. I, I don't have something spectacular for you. I have a call for you that you would live a life of commitment, that you would choose even when you can't sense him and even when you can't feel him, that you would choose. I'm gonna trust him. I'll trust you, Jesus. So Naaman's in the Jordan. He's like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna obey. And so he told me to dip seven times. He says, oh, I'm dipping. I'm just, I'm just going to dip. I'm just, I'm just going to dip. And he dips and he probably comes up. He's like, yo, is my leprosy gone? Oh no, it's, it's still here. <laughs> Let me dip a second time because I, I need it to go away. Hold on. So he, he dips the second time, and he's still, he's still not made well. He's like, all right, maybe, maybe I gotta, maybe third time's a charm. That, that's probably what it is. I love it because he comes out the third time and is, no, I still have leprosy. Elisha, the prophet who's made this command, is an interesting guy because what you'll discover is that Elisha was really into numbers. Second Kings chapter 13, one of the kings of Israel comes to Elisha because they're in a battle. And he's afraid of the enemy that's coming. And so Elisha says, take your arrows, go outside and strike the ground. The man goes outside with the arrows and he strikes the ground one, two, three times. He comes back in and Elisha rebukes him. He says, that was foolish. You only struck the ground three times, therefore you will only defeat your enemy three more times. You should have struck the ground five times, six times, seven times. Many more times, had you struck the ground many times, you would have destroyed your enemy once and for all. So Rich, why are you tell me that story? I'm telling you that there needs to be a shift in the mindset at Voo Church, that I'm not just trying to do the bare minimum. No, I have made a decision, come hell or high water, I'm gonna strike the ground every single time. I'm just gonna keep on dipping. So he dips a fourth time. So he goes four times and like, I don't know, four to me, I got a lot of like, I would have thought at four, like, yeah, you're, you should be healed. Like we always say at VU, I don't know if one week at VU will change your life, but you give us four. That's what the growth track's all about. You give us four Sundays. We believe four Sundays will change your life. Why? Because there's, there's something about a month of doing, you know, the gym, right? You go to the gym for 30 days, you got to have it. But I think the call of God today for so many of us is, is what are you going to do when you put in the 30 days and you still don't have proof of progress. That day, Naaman's like, all right, I'm gonna go five, I'll do five. Comes out fifth time, it's like, yo, I still have leprosy. And I don't know, that, that fifth time's an interesting time because it's challenging, man. Like. We all have a different threshold of when we quit and when we give up. I know this, I know that life is not full of mountaintops. I know that not every season is a high. Some seasons are lows, they feel like dips. But it's in those moments that you have to predetermine that when I face a dip in life, I'm not gonna dip out of the marriage, I'm not gonna dip out of my church, I'm not gonna dip out of my job. I'm not gonna dip out of my dream. Instead, I'm just gonna keep on dipping in the presence of God. I'm gonna dip again. He says, this is, nothing, nothing's happened here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip a sixth time. So he dips a sixth time. And so we go six times, right? We dip six times and six feels cool, but how many know six is the number of man? 
Six is what I can do in my own strength. Six is my own mindset. Six is my own perspective. Six is my own willpower. But I actually believe what God has for you is gonna require you to step outside of your own willpower and you're gonna actually have to get inspired and motivated by the power of the Holy Spirit. Seven is actually the number of completion. Seven is actually the number of perfection. Seven is God's number. And in the Bible, we see stories where seven is important. One that comes to my mind is when they get to the walls of Jericho and they march around these walls six times, but on the seventh time, they are now commanded to shout and to lift their voice. And when they shout and when they lift their voice on the seventh time, that's when the walls come crashing down. Anybody got some faith today that your walls are coming crashing down? Anybody got a belief today in a supernatural God who can bring down the barriers, who can destroy the obstacles, who can bring healing to your story? This is called faith. This is called commitment. Knowledge says, I know he can do it. Faith says, I know he will do it. But I'm talking about something deeper today. And that is the word called commitment. Because commitment says, even if he doesn't do it, you're gonna find me at the Jordan, just dipping and dipping and dipping. That's all I know to do. When I don't know what to do, I just keep on dipping. I'm going a seventh time. And this time, when he comes out, miraculously and supernaturally, his skin is restored. How was it restored? It wasn't restored because of his money or his position or his wealth. It was restored because he was committed to just keep dipping. And I wanna to preach to our church tonight because knowledge says, I know, I know he can do it. And faith, faith is good. Faith says, I know he will do it. But tonight I'm not talking about knowledge. And tonight I haven't been preaching to you about faith. I've been preaching about this word called commitment because commitment says, even if he doesn't do it when I want him to do it, well baby, I'm just gonna keep on dipping. I'm not gonna stop because obedience is my job and outcome is God's job. Is there anybody out there tonight who wants more of God? Lift your hands, lift your voice. I want more! Come on, sing it out! 